welcome to Fashion One. I'm Stephanie and I'm here to bring you guys at home the latest fashion, entertainment and lifestyle news straight from London. Now we are on the last day of London LCM for Autumn Winter 2014 and we're going to be celebrating the runway with Eat House. when you're walking down the runway you can see like loads of people taking your picture and uh, the paparazzi are like flashing like crazy. Uh, it's, it's quite daunting at first and yeah. then you get to the end you're like oh yeah this is awesome and there's yeah. massive adrenaline rush really cool. And uh, would you have any advice to guys out there that maybe want to be models or they're watching this and they think oh my gosh that looks like the dream job? Um, I think it all comes I think it's all a very natural thing it's very organic I mean it just happens and if you want to do it then you probably can do it, it's not that difficult. We're working with um, quite a groomed look, so working in line with e Torts' image of how they always kind of portray their collections, but we're adding a certain weirdness to it in terms of making them look like they're almost uh, mental patients, so really exaggerating the partings, either working them either too low or too high, um, taking some inspiration from 1930s actors, um, and then and also working with um, some natural curl as well. Cool, and how long does it take roughly to achieve this look with the boys? Uh, on each guy it takes about up to 15 minutes maximum, it's just a matter of fact, it just, the most um, important point is to place the party in the right place and then we're just using product to hold it in place and then keeping it nice and slick. I'm looking to see really strong trends for Autumn Winter 14 mm -hmm. and really to see something different but wearable at the same time as well and um, just something that's going to amaze me and just think wow okay I'm glad I came to the show this is amazing like not only the collection is amazing the show is amazing as well so it's exciting to see what each designer brings every year because they bring something new and fresh to the plate because obviously time is going ahead, fashion is ahead and obviously they go with that with the whole you know season chain with the weather as well so you, can see, you never know what they're going to experiment so it's interesting. Yeah. I love that. We're at eTorts. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a, a, a sort of new twist or take on Savile Row tailoring, so it's quite contemporary. Um, over the last couple of seasons, we've seen it become kind of more luxe with sort of metallics and brighter colours, so it'll be quite nice to see whether he goes in the same vein this time or not. And do you prefer looking at menswear collections or women's wear, or do, do you just adore fashion as a whole? Um, I like looking at menswear because I am a girl, so I kind of come at it from a slightly different angle, I think. Yeah. Um, it's nice to see something that sort of, you know, isn't directed at me but I look at it thinking I'd like to wear that or yeah. I can see why guys don't get it or um, it's just quite a nice sort of fresh perspective I think so I, I really enjoy the menswear shows. I came last season and I followed him for a while, uh, really when he was getting established to be honest and I just like seeing what they do each season, it's going to be interesting to see what, how, what, where they've taken it from the last collection, um, yeah it's just always a really nice collection, it's very traditional but then it's still got modern twists which is very you know different and something that stands out, just nice little detailing things so yeah it'd be nice to see what, what's happening this time. <laughs> What do you do for a living? I am a fashion illustrator by trade, so I've been invited today to sketch the collection, um, but I'm sketching for Notion magazine. So yeah, so that's why I'm here. Is, is fashion <laughs> illustration something that's really hard to do? Does it take a lot of practice? Um, I, I've been drawing since I was a young age, um, but obviously you establish a style the more you practice, so I just suggest to keep practicing to anyone. The lovely David Gandhi. Um, David, tell me why you've come to Eat Out Show today. 
Um, I know Patrick. Patrick is a friend of mine, and um, I mean, I'm going to everything anyway. As a, as ambassador, I'm trying to support as much yeah. as I can, and uh, we've been doing okay over the last couple of days. Um, but yeah, Patrick. Patrick is. Uh, He's a friend of mine. I always try to support him, and, and his shows are always, um, always pretty, you know, pretty good. So um, yeah, here I am. Um, tell me, what have you chosen to wear today? Because you're looking amazing as usual. Thank you. Um, I've got uh, my, my go-to tailor at Tom Sweeney. Yeah. So they created something and got it made for me yesterday, and um, nice. just in time for today. collection for Autumn Winter 2013 was an explosion of style and colour. Now it really embraced the traditional British gentleman but with a really funky little twist. I love the oversized garments. It's something that's so reoccurring on the catwalk for Autumn Winter 2014. It's definitely going to be a huge trend. Not only that but we saw the gorgeous use of luxurious fabrics along with metallic. Now don't be afraid guys to rock this as part of your wardrobe. Those red metallic trousers were absolutely sensational. They looked fabulous. Eat out. Definitely hit the nail on the head yet again for another season.